Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can automatically make Slack in Laravel. So why do we need to make Slack? So normally here instead of ID in the URL we will show a unique title for each post. So for in order to show unique title we need to use Slack in Laravel and this is also SEO friendly as well. So right now first of all in order to create Slack obviously first of all you need to create a Slack column in that table so here you can see i have created a post table over here and in this post table we have title description and the slack field and when you are creating the slack field you need to make sure that uh, the type for the slack field is unique here you can see title description and here you can see slack and the slack is unique you need to make sure this so if you already create a table and uh, you do not know how you can include a new column in the table then you can check out this video in the corner where I show how you can add new column to existing table. Okay, so once you have added the Slack column and make it unique, what you need to do is that you need to go to this table model. So here you can see I have a model over here and in the model we have post.php. So in this post model, you need to write four line of code. So here, first of all, at the top, you need to write UCB broke backslash eloquent sluggable backslash. We'll say over here, sluggable. After this, we'll come to this model over here. And after use factory, we'll say over here, use sluggable. And then we'll write a function for slug. So we'll say over here, public function sluggable then we'll give to first bracket on clone and we'll say over here array. Then we'll give to second bracket over here and here we are going to say return. Then we'll give to third bracket over here and inside this third bracket and for this third bracket we need to give a semicolon over here. And inside this third bracket we'll give to single quotation and we'll say over here slug equal is greater than sign. And then we'll again give to third bracket over here like this. Let's just write it like this. And inside this third bracket, we saw our here source equal to is greater than. And here you need to mention using which column you want to make the Slack. So normally we make Slack using the post title. So here uh, you can see we have a title field over here. So using the title field, we'll create our unique Slack. So every time someone upload a data, then using this title, it will automatically create a slug. So here we'll say source equal, it will be title. And one more thing that you need to is that here you can see uh, eloquence sluggable and here you can see CV broke. So we need to install this package in our Laravel project in order to automatically make slug. So right now we'll go to our command prompt and here we'll write this command composer require let me just zoom in require cp broke backslash will sour here eloquent eloquent minus will sour here sluggable and after this we'll just press enter so it will install this package cp broke eloquent sluggable in our laravel project so here you can see the package is installed and when the package is installed it means the code for creating slug automatically is actually done. So right now uh, here you can see that I have a input field over here title and description. So every time I add or I upload a data in the database table, what uh, it will do is that here since we mention in the post model slug equal to source will be title. So every time we upload a data, it will get the title and make it into a slug. And if there is any multiple, let's say multiple same title then what it will do is that here you can see add a so using add a after that title it will add two three four like this so this way it will make every title unique so let me just show you my code over here so here you can see that i have a form over here and in the form i have the title description and the add button over here and here you can see in the form action you can see url add post so if you go to the web.php and here you can see for add post, uh, we are calling this function in the home controller, which is add post. So in the home controller, here you can see in this public function add post, we are just adding the data title and the description. Only the title and description. We are not adding any slug over here. Since we mentioned the slug in the post.php in the model, so slug data will be automatically 
upload it using the title field over here okay so right now if we go to our browser over here let's refresh and let's just give a title over here let's say title will be hello world and let me just copy some text from here Control c and i'll paste over here so right now if i click add here you can see it's reloading and the data is uploaded in the database table so right now if i just refresh i refresh my database table here you can see we have the title hello world description and here you can see the slug become hello minus world. here you can see it will automatically add this minus sign and right now let's say if we upload that duplicate title again let's say hello world again over here and if we just copy this and paste over here and then if i just click add what it will do is that let me just refresh here you can see that it added a two over here at the end of the title so this way every slug will be unique so right now let me just show you how you can show data using slug so here you can see show post over here if i click show post it will take me to another page and here you can see view details so i went to any thing uh, any code for this view detail so right now let me just take you to this page code so over here if i just go to post underscore data uh, here you can see the table over here title description and the view details so we are showing the title and description so for view details uh, we want to show the details of a specific post using slack so in order to do that we will give two second bracket in this anchor tag then with our here url to first bracket to single quotation and let's say our route name will be post underscore details and we want to show it using slack so instead of getting the id we'll measure over here dollar data this arrow sign slack so this dollar data is basically this one in the for each loop so right now what we'll do is that we'll go to our web.php and write this route so let's go to our web.php and let me just copy a route from here then i'll paste it over here so right now here we are going to say post underscore details post underscore details and let's our function name will be post underscore details as well and since we are sending the slack from here so we need to catch the slack over here so we'll give a slash and then we'll show our here slack so we are not sending any id from here we are sending the slack so right now we'll go to our home controller and create a function post details so let's go to home controller and here we'll say public function post underscore details to first bracket and here we'll just say dollar slack which we just mentioned over here you can see slack so right now let's keep to second bracket so we need to mention a variable over here let's say dollar data or dollar post whatever then here we'll mention the table model name double clone normally we write over here find dollar id but since this is a slug so if we write over here find dollar id it will not work so we need to say over here where to first bracket then we need to mention the table column name so here you can see that the table column name is slug so we'll just mention over here double quotation slug then we'll give a comma over here and we'll mention this slack this dollar slack over here it means if the slack matches with a column then we'll get that column data so here we'll say over here first you must mention, need to mention the first over here so after this we can just return the view we'll say over here return view and let's say our view name will be details page let's say details underscore page and We'll show our here compact to first bracket to single quotation and here we send this dollar data over here so right now let me just create a simple detail space blades in the view so here in the view we'll show our here details underscore page dot blade dot php control s and save so here we are going to mention the html tag and then inside the body We'll give to second bracket so here from the home controller we are sending the data so we'll just keep say, say over here dollar data arrow sign we'll show over here title and the same way we'll show over here description i am not adding any design over here descriptions we can just add a br tag over here if we want so here let me just explain what will happen is that here you can see 
uh, we are saying over here view detail for this button we are saying uh, post detail dollar data slack it means instead of id it will show us the slack in the url here you can see slash post detail slack so in the url we will see the slack instead of id so right now if we save this and let me just refresh over here and if i now click over here on view details here you can see uh, the post title and description and here you can see the slug over here not any id so right now if i just click it for the second post here you can see another slug over here so this is how you can make slug in laravel automatically i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question you can, you can always let me know in the comment section and if you want me to make any special video for you you can also let me know in the comment section thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials